and better strains of tobacco. ITC has introduced scientific cultivation among local tobacco farmers. These have improved crop quality and yield. Tobacco is now a lucrative cash crop. And ITC has grown so close to the farmers that they call it Thalli or Mother. The company buys back the farmer's produce, processes the tobacco for best-selling cigarette brands and exports a substantial part to countries across the world. ITC is now also exporting a range of value-added agricultural products under its Indian Heritage banner. Today, spurred on by ITC, the people of Andhra Pradesh have put the state on the international tobacco map with India becoming the third largest producer of tobacco in the world. In the late 70s, paper was an area of national concern. The Andhra Pradesh government invited ITC to enter this core sector industry. The company responded, and this led to a further strengthening of roots. It was 1979. Bhadra Chalam, a temple town in the backward area of Sarapaka, would never be the same again. ITC Bhadra Chalam Paper Boards Limited, a company promoted by ITC, transformed a rural neighborhood into a progressive industrial community by setting up a modern state-of-the-art plant, creating opportunities for employment, providing housing and education, promoting social welfare and supporting local farmers. From the very start, the company's productivity has reached unprecedented levels. Today, it manufactures a wide range of paper and board products that find increasing application in India and new markets abroad. Paper is an industry integrally linked to the ecology of this earth. And the company has borne this in mind from its very inception. Custom-made electrostatic precipitators control air pollution, while a modern effluent treatment plant purifies the water that is returned to the Godavari. This treated water is so rich in nutrients that farmers tap the pipeline for irrigation management of forest resources has been carefully planned. Social forestry involves the farmers. Clonal plantations through the biotechnology route are rapidly increasing yield. Cyclical afforestation keeps the green balance intact. For ITC, this project is a shining example of a running industry profitably while caring for the land and the people behind its success. ITC has now extended its support to another area of national priority, oil seeds and edible oil skills and strengths gained from tobacco operations would prove to be of great help. In the drought-prone district of Karnool, a modern seed research center was set up. International collaborations were formed. 
men and material from India and abroad were brought together. And in May 1988, the Agribusinesses Division was ready for takeoff. Today, this division is developing a variety of hybrid and high-yielding seeds, testing them in laboratories and research farms, demonstrating their superiority at locational trials, and then marketing them in India and abroad. A noteworthy success in this area is the development of the Sunflower Hybrid AH3425, ranked first by the Indian Council for Agricultural Research for its high yield and oil content. As always, ITC is working hand in hand with farmers, encouraging them to use modern cultivation methods and assuring them of buyback at attractive prices. Today, Andhra Pradesh has become the largest oil seed producer in the country. The earnings of sunflower farmers have more than doubled. And ITC has brought joy to homes in drought-prone, non-irrigated areas. Together with a non-resident Indian, the company set up ITC Agrotech and built the country's most modern edible oils complex at Mantralium. This center provides a market for commercial oil seeds, produces a popular range of edible oil brands, and generates de-oiled meal. It has also improved oil recovery through more efficient technology. This association with Andhra Pradesh has made ITC the largest processor of refined edible oils and the largest exporter from the oilseed sector. With a firm commitment to adding value to agriculture. three chapters of an ongoing story. The story of Andhra Pradesh and ITC, a company seeking new horizons while remaining firmly rooted to the land, giving back to the good earth so much more than it draws from it.